My first day on campus was in high school. My coach, this was his alma mater, and he'd always say, you need to go to East Texas. And I had no idea where Commerce was, and they invited me up for a basketball tryout, and so I came up one weekend. I went back home knowing this was the place I wanted to come. My first day as a freshman, we're talking about the early 1970s, so every day was a standout day. <laughs> it, was, it was a crazy time. School had desegregated mm, probably six years before I came. I played the fraternity, and so I was active in my fraternity. I had a great football team. They won the national championship while I was here in 1972. You didn't want to go home because you were afraid to miss something. So I went to school year round, five and a half years got my undergrad degree, equivalent to what's, what now is a bachelor's in social work. Got a master's in counseling in 1975. The job here, I am the director of alumni engagement, but I'm also the executive director of the Alumni Association. I came here in 2004 on the five-year plan, and now I've been here almost 19 years. The greatest thing about this job is just the opportunity to meet people from all walks of life. I met so many people from not just rural Northeast Texas, but from around the world. There are people around campus who say, I know everybody. I don't, but I'm looking to know everybody. Uh, I believe without a doubt that we're all connected somehow. I learned something from everybody I come in contact with, no matter how old they are, no matter how different they are, I can learn. I'm looking forward to that every time that I meet somebody, but I'm also looking to share whatever I have with them. What I do at work is what I do every single day, even if I wasn't here. I got here because my high school basketball coach recommended I come, and he and I, he's still in my phone, I think if there's any legacy that I'll leave, it's this building. Because when I came, we had no visible presence on campus. Students could come here and be here four years and never know there's an alumni association. And now we're right in the heart of the campus. With the help of the alumni board, we built this building and we built the brick garden. And the proceeds from the brick garden go towards scholarships that we offer for, for students. And that's another piece of it that most people will not realize that we offer six legacy scholarships. 24 years of my life was spent here. It'll always be a part of me. And I'm just, for anybody I tell them, I am just one phone call away. Uh, well, we'll miss you. Yeah, yeah. I don't miss people. You know, I don't, I cherish them while I can, but while they're gone, they're still in my heart. I'm connected to this university in so many ways that um, it's in my blood, no matter what happens, no matter when I leave, my heart will always be with a and Commerce. People come here mostly from humble beginnings. This is a great place for young people to come and learn. If they don't know what they want to do, it's a great place to figure it out. We have faculty and staff who really care about young people. My job is to make sure that we connect our alumni with students, that we raise funds that allow them to get scholarships, transform their lives, and not only just their lives, but transform the lives of their families. So that's who we are, that's what we're all about. It's been a great run, and uh, I'm excited for the next version, the next chapter in my life. I get my weekends back. I'm gonna clean out my garage. I'm gonna pick up my guitar and begin to uh, relearn how to play it. I wanna be able to take a nap in the middle of the day. You know, I wanna take dance lessons with my wife, get more exercise. Uh, I wanna be more involved in the ministry in my church. Those are the things I know that I, I plan on doing and everything else will be gravy. Until we meet again, I wish you peace, love, and happiness, and go Lions.